this class we work out five problems on series parallel rlc circuit problem number 1 for the circuit of figure determine the total impedance and the current here four impedances is it one is it two is it three is it four and one resistor or connector as shown in figure we have to find the total impedance and current voltage is given 395 angle 0 here the impedance values are in rectangular form first step we have to convert it into a polar form z1 is equal to 4 plus j3 in rectangular form in polar form 5 angle 36.87 degrees Z2 is equal to 4 minus J3 in rectangular form. In polar form, 5 angle minus 36.87 degrees. These two are connected in parallel. The equivalent is Z1 into Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Z equivalent is equal to 25 angle 0 divided by 8. That is equal to 3.125 ohms. The next is Z3 and Z4 are connected in parallel. Z3 is equal to 6 minus J8 in rectangular form. In polar form, 10 angle minus 53.23 degrees. Z4 6 plus J8 in rectangular form. In polar form, 10 angle 53.13 degrees. The equivalent is Z3 into Z4 divided by Z3 plus Z4. Z equivalent is 8.333 ohms. I redraw the circuit like this. This is 3.125 ohms. This is 5 ohms. This is 8.333 ohms. I can find the total impedance. Total impedance is equal to 16.458 ohms. I know the voltage 395 angle zero. I know the total impedance. I can find the current I. I is equal to V by Z 395 angle zero divided by 16.458. I is equal to 24 amps. Problem number two. For the circuit of figure, find the total impedance. Determine branch currents. That is I2 and I3. Total applied voltage, power factor, and real power P. Here three impedances are connected as shown in figure. The total current I1 is given 14.14 angle minus 45 degrees, which is in polar form. In rectangular form, 10 minus J10. Here Z1 is equal to 10 plus J10 in rectangular form. In polar form, 14.14 angle, 45 degrees. Is it too easy to do? A plus J10 in rectangular form. In polar form, 12.81 angle, 51.34 degrees. Is it three easy to do? 12 plus J10 in rectangular form. In polar form, 15.62 angle, 39.81 degrees. Here. Impedance Z2 and Z3 are connected in parallel. The equivalent impedance is Z23 is equal to Z2 into Z3 divided by Z2 plus Z3. Substitute all the values Z2, Z3, and add Z2 plus Z3. You will get Z23 is equal to 7.072 angle 46.15 degrees in polar form. In rectangular form, 5 plus J5. That is the equivalent impedance of Z2 and Z3. The total impedance is this equivalent impedance plus Z1. So, total impedance is equal to 10 plus J10 plus 5 plus J5. That is equal to 15 plus J15 in rectangular form. In polar form, 21.21 angle 45 degrees in ohms. Next, I can find the applied voltage. V is equal to I into Z. Here, I one is given 14.14 angle minus 45 degrees. I know the total impedance. 
V is equal to 300 angle 0 degrees. I2, I can find the branch current. I2 is equal to Z3 divided by Z2 plus Z3 into total current I or I1. I2 is equal to Z3 that is 15.62 angle 39.81 into I 14.14 angle minus 45 divided by Z2 plus Z3 that is equal to 20 plus J10 in rectangular form in polar form 28.28 angle 45 degrees I2 is equal to 7.81 angle minus 50.19 degrees in polar form in rectangular form 5 minus J6 amps similarly I3 I3 is equal to Z2 divided by Z2 plus Z3 into total current I. That is equal to 6.41 angle minus 38.66 degrees in polar form. In rectangular form, I3 is equal to 5 minus J4 amps. According to Kirchhoff's law, I2 plus I3 is equal to I1. I know I2. I2 is equal to 5 minus J6 i3 is equal to 5 minus j4 therefore i1 is equal to 10 minus j10 the angle is minus 45 degrees power factor cos 45 is equal to 0 0.707 lagging real power p is equal to vi cos theta v is equal to 300 i is equal to 14.14 cos theta that is cos 45 is equal to 0 0.707 power factor 300 into 14.14 into 0.707 that is equal to 2999.09 watts. Problem number 3. In the circuit of figure, find the total impedance and power consumed in each branch. This circuit consists of 3 impedances and 1 resistor. Z1, Z2, Z3 and a 2 ohm resistor. Here Z1 is equal to 2 plus J6 in polar form. In rectangular form 6.32 angle 71.57 degrees. Z2 is equal to 1 minus J3 in rectangular form. In polar form 3.16 angle minus 71.57 degrees. Z3 is equal to 1 plus J2 in rectangular form. In polar form 2.24 angle 63.43 degrees. Here Z1, Z2 and a resistor all are connected in parallel. First step I find the equal independence of Z1 and Z2. Z12 is equal to Z1 into Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Z1 plus Z2 is equal to 2 plus J6 plus 1 minus J3 that is equal to 3 plus J3 in rectangular form in polar form 4.24 angle 45 degrees I know Z1, Z2, Z1 plus Z2 the equivalent impedance of Z12 is equal to 4.71 angle minus 45 degrees in polar form in rectangular form 3.33 minus j 3.33 ohms here z1 and z2 this equal impedance z12 is in parallel with the 2 ohm resistor therefore the equivalent impedance is equal to z12 into 2 divided by z12 plus 2 that is equal to 1.5 angle minus 13 degrees in polar form in rectangular form 1.46 minus j.34 ohms. I know the equal impedance, I know z3, I can easily find the total impedance z t. Z t is equal to 1 plus j2 plus 1.46 minus j.34. That is equal to 2.46 plus j1.66 ohms in rectangular form. In polar form 2.97 angle 34 degrees that is the total impedance I know the voltage I know the total impedance I can easily find the current I I is equal to V by total impedance 100 divided by 2.97 angle 34 degrees 
that is equal to 33.67 angle minus 34 degrees in polar form in rectangular form 27.92 minus j 18.83 amps that is the total current now i can find what is the voltage drop across a b and what is the voltage drop across b c here the total voltage is given 100 i can find v b c v b c is equal to i into z3 that is equal to 75.42 angle 29.43 degrees in polar form in rectangular form 65.68 plus j 37.06 volts the total voltage is given 100 i can easily find what is the voltage across ab 100 minus vbc that is equal to 34.32 minus j 37.06 volts that is the voltage across ab here is that one is that two and resistor are connected in parallel in parallel circuit voltage is constant i can easily find power consumed in each branch p1 is equal to vab square by z1 that is equal to 127 watts p2 is equal to vab square by z2 that is equal to 254 watts p3 is equal to vab square by 2 that is equal to 1270 watts p4 is equal to vb square by z3 that is equal to 1136 watts problem number 4 find the total current branch currents power factor angle and power factor of the given circuit the circuit consists of three impedances z1 z2 z3 supply voltage is 230 frequency is 50 z1 is equal to 14 plus j12 in rectangular form in polar form 18.44 angle 40.60 degrees z2 is equal to 16 plus j18 in rectangular form in polar form 24.08 angle 48.37 degrees here z1 and z2 are connected in parallel we have to find the equivalent impedance z12 is equal to z1 into z2 divided by z1 plus z2 first i find z1 plus z2 that is equal to 14 plus j12 plus 16 plus j18 that is equal to 30 plus j30 in rectangular form in polar form 42.43 angle 45 degrees i know z1 z2 z1 plus z2 i substitute all the values i can find the equal impedance z12 is equal to 6.33 minus j 8.34 in rectangular form in polar form 10.47 angle minus 52.77 degrees the total impedance is equivalent impedance plus Z3 that is equal to 16.33 minus J 16.34 in rectangular form in polar form 23.10 angle minus 45 degrees in ohms. I know the supply voltage 230. I know the total impedance. I can easily find the current, total current I. I is equal to V by Z. 230 divided by 23.10 angle minus 45 degrees that is equal to 10 angle 45 degrees in polar form in rectangular form i is equal to 7.07 plus j 7.07 the power factor angle is 45 cos 45.707 next step i have to find the branch currents i1 i2 i1 is equal to z2 into total current i divided by z1 plus z2 substitute the values i1 is equal to 5.68 angle 48.37 degrees in polar form in rectangular form 3.77 plus j 4.25 amps i2 is equal to z1 into total current i divided by z1 plus z2 Substitute all the values. I2 is equal to 4.35 angle 40.60 in polar form. In rectangular form 
3.30 plus J 2.83 amps. Now I can verify the total current. Total current is 10 angle 45 or 7.07 plus J 7.07. 3.77 plus 3.30 that is equal to 7.07 plus J 4.25 plus 2.83 that is equal to 7.07. Problem number 5 In the circuit of figure L1 is equal to L2 is equal to 2 milli henries. C is equal to 500 microfarads R is equal to 2 ohms V is equal to 10 into root 2 cos 628T 90 degrees Determine input impedance and branch currents Power factor angle and power factor here the maximum voltage is 10 into root 2. VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2. That is equal to 10 volts. The angle is 90 degree. The applied voltage is 10 angle 90 degree or J10. Here omega is given 628. I can find the frequency. Omega is equal to 628. Frequency is equal to 628 divided by 2 pi. That is equal to 100 hertz. Once I know the frequency. I can find inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. Inductive reactance XL is equal to omega into L. That is equal to 1.256 ohms. Capacitive reactance XC is equal to 1 by omega C. That is equal to 3.185 ohms. This is J 1.256 ohms. This is minus J 3.185 ohms. This is J 1.256 ohms R is equal to 2 ohms Here the resistor and the L2 are connected in parallel Let the equivalent impedance is Z12 That is equal to R into L2 divided by R plus L2 That is equal to 0.5657 plus J 0.9008 ohms in rectangular form in polar form, 1.0636 angle 57.812 degrees. Once I know the this equivalent impedance, I can find the total impedance. Total impedance or the equivalent impedance is equal to Z12 plus this impedance. That is equal to 0.5657 minus J 1.0282 ohms. In rectangular form. In polar form, 1.1736 angle minus 61.18 degrees. The power factor angle is 61.8 degrees. 18 degrees. So power factor is lagging. Cos 61.18 that is equal to 0 0.482 lagging. I know the equivalent impedance. That are the total impedance. I know the applied voltage. I can easily find the current. I is equal to V by Z equivalent 10 angle 90 degrees divided by 1.1736 angle minus 61.18 degrees that is equal to minus 7.4658 plus J 4.1072 amps that is the total current in rectangular form in polar form 8.521 angle 151.18 degrees in amps I can find the current I2. I2 is equal to R into total current divided by R plus Jx. That I2 is equal to minus 3.5044 plus J 6.308 amps. Once I know I2, I can easily find I1. I1 is equal to total current minus I2. That is equal to minus 3.9614 minus J 2.2008 amps. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.